Hi guys, and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. And this is the build 28020.1362. This is basically yet another preview build for version 26H1. And this is a catch up build that basically introduces all the other features that have not been present on 26H1 from 25H2. And in this video, of course, we're gonna talk about everything that was added in this build, changes, new features, and fixes. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Of course, Microsoft is adding the new AI features such as click to do the agent and settings and also the window shooty effects to the Canary channel. Of course, if you have a Copal Plus PC, you're going to be able to play around with all those features. Microsoft is also adding the new Xbox full screen experience inside the Canary channel and you can enable this experience by going into the settings app, then to gaming and the full screen experience will be here and you should have this option to enable it and then you can open it up just by hovering over the task view option for example and then xbox full screen experience the drag tray also received a few changes inside this build of course that were present inside 25h2 for example the multi-file share if you have two files of the same type you can share them to different apps using the drag tray and also if you open up the settings app inside system and then if you scroll down to nearby sharing you're going to have the option to disable the drag tray if you don't want to have it inside the file Explorer, Microsoft is adding the updated dialogues that now have dark mode. I think that is also pretty nice. And this, of course, includes the copy, move, delete dialogues, the progress bars, the skip, override, and file selection, also the multiple confirmation and error dialogues. Microsoft is also updating the mobile devices settings page. If you go to settings, Bluetooth and devices, and then mobile devices, you can now directly add and manage your mobile devices from settings. And this page will allow you to view your mobile devices, add new mobile devices, and manage features such as using your device device as a connected camera or accessing your device's files in File Explorer. And of course, if you have a device added here, you're going to be able to see all those features. There are also a few changes related to Windows Spotlight and related to input. For example, Microsoft is moving a lot of options from the old control panel to the new settings app, and uh, these are options related to the mouse and keyboard settings. Microsoft is also adding the new OneDrive icon that you can see, for example, in Accounts. This is the new OneDrive icon in Settings and also in the Home Pages. And in addition to this inside System and then Recovery, if you go to to the Quick Machine Recovery. You're going to see that now Quick Machine Recovery will run a one-time scan on PCs that have these options enabled as default. And also inside System and then Advanced Options, you're going to be able to turn on Virtual Workspaces in Advanced Settings, and this allows you to enable or disable features such as Hyper-V or Windows Sandbox. In this Canary Channel update, we're also getting a new Paint app update, which is introducing the Collapse Toolbar feature in Paint. To get started, just click on this little chevron here, and you're going to have here automatically show toolbar or automatically hide the toolbar. I think that is also pretty nice. And once the toolbar collapses, use the show toolbar button to bring it back and switch tools. And if you want to hide it again, just click the hide toolbar button or anywhere outside the toolbar. So this button or anywhere outside the toolbar, I think that is also pretty nice. And if you want to switch back to what it was before, just go ahead and select the always show toolbar option again. There are also a lot of fixes applied in this build, but I'm not going to mention every fix. I'm only going to mention some of them that I find to be a bit more interesting and useful. For example, Microsoft fixed an issue which could cause File Explorer to become unresponsive when opening Home. Also inside Settings, there's a fix for an issue that caused Settings to become unresponsive when you accessed the Network and Internet section of the Settings app. Also to the Taskbar, Microsoft applied a fix for some issues for whenever you had the Automatically Hide the Taskbar option enabled from Taskbar Behaviors. Also, the Windows Search panel now matches the new Start menu in size. That is also pretty nice, so we have a smooth their experience with that. There are also a lot of display and graphics fixes that will also improve the gaming performance if you're gaming for whatever reason on the Canary channel. There are also a few fixes for Windows Update. For example, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue which could cause update and shutdown to not automatically shut down your PC after updating. So that is now fixed also on the Canary channel. So this is pretty much it for the Canary channel. As I've said, these are preview builds for version 26H1, which is a version of Windows 11 that will be released on new devices in 2026 and basically a base platform for the major release of next year, 26H2. For more information about this build, make sure to check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TickBase. Until next time, have a nice day.